So we're going to go through how to set up your first event type in cal.com and get you started. So to create a new event type, we can go ahead and hit the new button and then you choose whether you want it on your own account or your team. So we're going to choose my own account. Now it's going to bring us up a modal where I can now go ahead and do, let's do a coffee chat. Now it's going to auto generate the URL, but we can customize it if we want. So I'm just going to shorten it here. And we can add in a description. So um, a coffee at our local store, for instance. And then we'll change the length, for instance, to 30 minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and hit continue. That's going to create the event type and then it's going to take us into the event type management page. So here we have a lot of options, but broken down into categories for you. So just going to go ahead and look at the things at the top. So we have the ability to hide this from the profile. So for instance, I don't want just anybody booking me to have coffee, so I'm going to tick that on. There's also the ability to preview, copy link, embed and delete up here. So these are going to be quite similar to what we would have originally seen uh, on the creation modal, but we do also have the allow booker to select duration. So if I want to enable this and I'll say, OK, maybe we have a 30 minute coffee or maybe we have a 60 minute coffee. Now, the location, it will default to, to Cal Video, our own video calling service, but obviously that's not so applicable for a coffee. So I'm going to get rid of that and then change the location to in person. Now, I do have the option to either collect an address from the attendee or set one as the organizer. So I'm going to do. I'm just going to add in a postcode here and we choose whether we want to display it on the booking page. So I'm going to say no to that. So now we've got ahead and added the location. We can now go down to availability. So it's currently set to working hours because that's my default schedule, but I'm free for a coffee anytime. So I'm going to change that to my personal availability schedule. We can go into limits as well. So um, for instance, I am going to need 30 minutes before the event to to get to the relevant location, for instance. Uh, and I need a minimum notice of, let's change that to one day. And we don't need time slot intervals for this case. Now I can limit the booking frequency. So, you know, maybe I don't want to do more than three per week. And I can also limit how far they are in the future. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it as the default of 30 business days in the future. Next, we can go into an advanced, so uh, add to calendar. I would probably want that on my personal calendar instead of my default one, which is my work calendar. I can also change the event name, but we don't need that. Then we can customize the, the questions which are asked on the booking page and what's required, what's optional and so on. Uh, and we can also then add a custom one if we need. Uh, so let's go ahead and just add one saying, what's your favorite type of coffee? if I can spell. And I can also give it, I'm just gonna copy that into the label box. I can also give it a placeholder and yeah, we're gonna make that required. You can also change, does it require confirmation? I'm gonna say yes, because I wanna confirm that kind of thing before it just goes into my calendar. Uh, I don't need to hide notes. There's no need to redirect on a booking. There's no need for it to be a private link or to offer seats. We'd also do it as a recurring event to so say we wanted to schedule like a weekly coffee with someone that that would entirely be possible. Uh, we're not going to do that for now. Uh, under apps, I mean, there's not really any relevant apps that we're going to want for this, you know, unless maybe I want to have a QR code to, to book a coffee with me, but uh, we're not going to do that for now. And then in workflows, we could do something like connecting a workflow, which is going to remind somebody before the event about the coffee. So I go ahead and hit save and, and all of that is now going to be ready and will appear on my um, booking page. So here we can see that I've got the option between 30 and 60 minutes. So let's go for a 60 minute coffee. It's going to go ahead and refresh the availability as to when I can do that. Um, so we can say Friday at 1 p.m. And it's also going to show, as you can see here, what's your favorite type of coffee? So when I enter that in, it's going to then show up in the, the confirmation email on the booking page. So that's everything that we need to know in regards to creating your first event type.